It's not even 10 o'clock on the 18th of June and turns out Lego's not the only one releasing brand new sets or new details whilst I'm as, as you can see it's a playset style Falcon this will probably be sold for about 150 quid that's the same as the last one but there are some really nice details including a Death Star dish on the Falcon instead of the satellite there's a few red translucent tiles around and I'm a big fan of these stickers do we think that's going to be printed or will it be a sticker I'd love for it to be printed I just think that's going to end up being a sticker it has been on all the Falcons so far same with that top middle bit by the turret I'm really interested to see actually what role the Dark Falcon plays because this isn't the first time we've seen a Black Millennium Falcon in Star Wars there's actually one in the expanded universe I'll get into that in a second just in case this part does need to be cut out the cockpit is also a red color which is really nice you see Ray in the cockpit and we do have a look at the six minifigures here we've got Ray from Rise of Skywalker we've got Darth Jar Jar from All Our Nightmares we also have a Darth Dev is that meant to be like a developer or something but they look like a inquisitor they're more of an inquisitor minifigure than a Darth Vader for instance we've also got this C-3PO with the red eyes and the black arms it looks like it's been named Bounty Hunter C-3PO I'm not quite sure what the deal is with the black arm I went back and watched Rise of Skywalker he is fully gold beside the red eyes so I'll definitely have to add the head onto another one of my finish minifigures thank you windows for the security update we also have the star wars i don't know star wars infinity's darth vader in the white suit a really really cool character and again that's from the expanded universe and beach luke who just looks like a dad chilling on the beach if i'm honest it comes with a blue milk i think that won't be a printed piece they'll keep that exclusive to the game because well if captain rex coming in a cheap set there would be uproar on that i mean it's not exactly a cheap set i'd love to see the blue milk reused but the really interesting thing about luke skywalker let's see if we can blow up this image make it bigger i probably should have done this in the first place to get a look at the characters but you notice that necklace slash pendant around luke's neck that looks to be the one that anakin makes handcrafts and gives to padme in the phantom menace which would be a really really nice touch as for the rest of his outfit i'm not really too sure Vader's torso I hope is a different print to the Return of the Jedi one because that could foreshadow a new Vader coming very soon and hopefully it's not exclusive to this obviously it's printed on the white torso and arms and we still do have arm printing for near enough all of these characters Luke doesn't because he's got no sleeves Vader does C-3PO does have arm printing on that black arm Darth Dev does also have arm printing Darth Jar Jar not only has one of these balls from the Phantom Menace but also a double bladed lightsaber and some arm printing I'm pretty sure I'm not sure about Darth Rey she might not have arm printing but she does have Gollum's eyes she doesn't have the Sith eyes she just has the white eyes sort of like the appearance in Rise of Skywalker so that does line up and I'm a big fan of the saber that they've used with both the blades coming up if only that could switch to a double bladed saber now as I said I'm not sure if I'll have to cut that at any point because Lego haven't officially released it so if you've cut straight to this I am sorry hopefully Lego announce the images soon and I can review them again on the channel but Darth Ray is looking straight out of Rise of Skywalker which is really really good C-3PO again not quite sure with the black arm almost didn't recognize him but that head is going to be a piece that loads of people will be wanting for their Sith speaking C-3PO I'm sure I definitely will be picking it up and adding it to my minifigure collection especially because the sequels is quite sparse I haven't really picked up many figures I know there were a lot available but we didn't tend to get a load of different minifigures in the sets I know I have a load of Finn in his jacket and there's quite a few other minifigures that I have duplicates of so I would love to be able to pick this up Dark Dev again he looks more like an Inquisitor so if he does come in one of the cheaper sets I'm not sure if Lego will be reusing minifigures for this because I suppose they want to be getting all the minifigures out that they can but if we do get Dark Dev in another set I'll definitely be using his parts for a custom Inquisitor and Darth Vader from Infinities we're finally getting a Lego version 
I have been so tempted to pick up one of the Black Series ones and I've definitely got to get my hands on the Lego one. I absolutely love the white Vader suit. It's contrasting the black suit so well. And I think for the storyline, if you aren't aware, it is actually from an expanded universe run of comics called Star Wars Infinities. It's basically an original Star Wars what if. It's a really, really cool storyline. But not only that, I also spoke earlier about the Black Falcon not being the first time it shows up. I think it was during the Yuson Von War that Han painted the falcon and i won't give any spoilers to why that is or or at least won't try to spoil it because to be honest it has been ages since i've picked up a book from the original sequel trilogy era but it's really nice to be getting that for fans of that region i'm pretty sure lego know what they're doing here by giving us a dark falcon and then of course we've got luke skywalker in his dad mode which again really nice reference with anakin's pendant that he gives padme round luke's neck and I'm very, very intrigued to see what other sets we'll be getting in this range. So if you aren't aware, there are a few other rumoured sets. Again, these are rumoured. These could change. These aren't confirmed by LEGO. So to be honest, we actually have no idea what's coming out. This could even be a really good render that someone found in a store, but we're just never going to know until LEGO officially announce it. But you can also expect to get a Jedi Bob Starfighter, there is the X-Wing and TIE Fighter, which I really, really hope they sell in a two-pack with the switchable wings that we saw in the trailer. I think a load of people are also expecting some sort of clones because they did feature in the trailer and especially an Ewok Y-Wing would be a lovely set to get. I'm not quite sure how they'd market each of these and I'm just really excited to get a Benny style Jedi Bob because I'd love to get my hands on a Jedi Bob. The minifigure is like 20 years old at this point and especially with that faded stubble that they've given him where his minifigure has been worn down over time. I just think it's amazing when Lego do that and I really like the Benny that they gave us in the same style. But that is all for today's video. Let me know what leaks you're excited for down in the comments. If the images have been removed from the earlier part of the video, hopefully LEGO announce it officially soon and we can get them up on the channel. So subscribe so you don't miss out and drop a like if you are enjoying this leak content. It used to be popular, then it sort of died down around the start of the year. But with sets like this on the horizon, would you like to see more of my speculation around the new leaks? I've got a video coming out at the end of the month which is going to have some massive leaks that no one has announced yet. So let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments and may the bricks be with you always. Tomorrow on Master Moldy. As you stuck around to the end of the video, I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm planning to do for tomorrow. Give you a little sneak peek on what's to come. And I will be making a mech using the 2020 501st Battle Pack. In my honest opinion, it's one of the best Lego Star Wars sets to date that they have given us. It's actually quite a heavy contender for this year's battle pack with all the droids. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts down in the comments on which battle pack you actually prefer between the two. But save it for tomorrow's video. Have a little think which one you prefer and then come back to see what I have created. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, may the bricks be with you always.